Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chris from Chesapeake Stream. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to make videos lately. I've been swamped with school. i um, you know, pushing into my junior year, and uh, it's, it's it's not pretty. But um, you know, I've been able to clear some <laughs> some memory off my phone, so uh, I have some space to record now because um, I am too broke to get an actual camera. <laughs> Well, yeah, anyways, um, so like I promised on Instagram, I was going to uh, give a nice little review of the Epic Dragonfly F30 Gen 5 carbon fiber shaft and String King Type 2X. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed yet, these are new releases by both companies. Uh, the whole two line from String King is now available. I have the 2X and 2S. Uh, I haven't had the chance to string up the 2X yet, which will be done soon, and I'll definitely post a review on that. But I've got the 2S right here on this NAS. Uh, I wanted to try it out, you know, just just see what all the hype was about. So, and then the, of course that's on the F30. So I guess I'll start off with the shaft. This is the Epic Dragonfly F30 uh, carbon fiber lacrosse shaft on a Warrior Nas X with String King Type 2X lacrosse mesh, or I'm sorry, 2S. Uh, so I'll start off with the shaft. This is, um, for those of you who are familiar with the Gen 4 series, this is a, a much better uh, step from that line. Uh, the Gen 4 was great, but this the, did a lot better to it. So I've got, uh, here is the limited edition Gen 5 in is a Carolina blue color and here is my Gen 5 prototype um, I got this way back when I think it was like last December or early before that uh, if you guys can see there's a little bit of glare on the uh, prototype shaft and then there is no glare well I mean besides the light but there's no shine on the uh, new Gen 5 shafts and that is because the prototype shaft uh, felt like glass or Plastic didn't have any kind of grip to it. These two have a very light sandpaper grip to it, which is really nice. Um, there are two completely different feels, but I, I guess Epic went with the uh, more popular gritty feel to it, which I really do like. It makes it feel like it's a little bit heavier, but it's really not. Um, so the cool thing about the F30 is that um, I'm assuming the F stands for face off because it is a face off specified shaft. I wouldn't really use it for anything else. Um, so from here on down, this section that's taped up pretty much is a C30 concave shape. Uh, that's their most popular shape, um, cross section. Uh, so I guess they went with that for a standard. And then up here, for the other half of the shaft, is what they call their F30. Uh, so pretty much what this is, if you can see it in the light where this index finger is, it transitions from their concave into this F30 shape, and it's kind of hard to describe. Um, I know Sports Top has a picture of the cross section up on their website, so you can search up Dragonfly F30 and this will pop up and you'll see the, the cross section. It's really cool. But supposedly it helps with a motor grip style clamp. Apparently you're able to more deliver more power with your, uh, with your clamp and punch, whatever. Um, I haven't used it enough yet to really see a major difference between a regular conventional cross shaft versus this. Um, I know Redline did a X32 carbon fiber shaft face off specified. I don't really know too much about Redline. Um, I know Greg Grantly used them for a little bit, but um, I'm an epic guy. <laughs> I've always been one from the start, so I went ahead and wanted to see it. I wanted to try this out. Um, it's it's pretty cool. I, I do feel a little bit more comfortable um, gripping this shape over the than conventional concave. It kind of has a more forward aggressive type feel to it. I feel like I'm really directing my power when I clamp. So uh, it's definitely something to try if you're a very avid face-off guy. He wants to try new things, see if they can improve their game. Uh, retails, I think, $140, $139, $140. Uh, same price as at Sportstop, Blacks.com, you know, they're all the other places that Epic Reels, uh, retails to. It's a great shaft. I got it all taped up already. Um, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll get more in-depth to it later when I do start to figure out what's so different about it. So up top on my NAS, uh, we've got String King Type 2S. So this is a major improvement from their um, one line. So 1S, it would be... Um, so pretty much what they did is they made it thinner, lighter, and stronger. And I think they said something about less stretchy or something like that. 
Um, so immediately out of the packaging, you'll notice that it is it is thinner and lighter, definitely. Um, it's a little bit easier to string up than their one line. I think Lax uh, Lax.com dropped their price on their one line to fifteen ninety nine, and then the two line is uh, at nineteen ninety nine. So it's pretty much the same price as before. Um, there's not many major changes, but it's definitely noticeable. Um, I would definitely go with the two line over the one line if I had the choice. Um, it's still the semi soft feel to it, uh, still just as soft as the one line. It's just thinner, lighter, and a little bit stronger than before. Um, that's really much all there is to it. I mean, there's only so much you can say about a piece of mesh. And I'm going to be honest, I'm, there's really not that big of a difference. If you can't, if you don't want to blow 20 bucks on a piece of mesh, just go ahead and get the one line. I mean, it's fine. There's, it's nothing wrong with it. Um, but this is definitely an improvement. Uh, if you want to take your time to invest in that. So, uh, if you've already used 1S, you, you'll, you'll, you'll like 2S. I'll put it that way. It, it's good. Um, definitely. That, that's really all what I can say about it. Um, it doesn't break in too much, so the pocket you string is pretty much the pocket it's going to stay. It doesn't bag, bag out like other stuff. Uh, meshes, that's, you know, the great thing about string king, so... Uh, this is how I strung it up. You can kind of see it on my face there, and it hasn't moved since. I pocket pounded it for hours and hours. I played, you know, wall wall. I had my friends like shoot on me and catch it. So, uh, I mean, that's the great thing about shrinking. So yeah, that is the stick I will be using for fall ball most likely, just to get some feedback and uh, my shrinking epic, you know, what they're doing and what they can improve. Even though I'm not part of like the 382 crew or anything, I like to make sure they know what they're doing and you know how they're doing it. So this is the limited edition Gen 5 Dragonfly C30. Uh, I grabbed one of these because I like the color. And uh, just, just to have it really, I mean, <laughs> I haven't really spent any money on myself, so it was kind of a present. Uh, really nice. I haven't taped this one up yet. I like the feel. Um, I'm actually going to take this Nas off and put a Warrior Burn on it just to shoot around with because this is an IQ9. Oh, and I forgot to mention... The F30 only comes in these colors, unfortunately. I mean, it's not too big of a deal. I don't really care. Um, and it's in IQ5 flex only. I'm not sure why they did that, but I mean, they always have a purpose for everything. And if I didn't say it already, this portion up here is to highlight, uh, to let refs know where your hand placement is, uh, so there's no need discussion about where your hand should be, etc., etc. You know, refs can be really picky about that. Um, so yeah, that pretty much covers everything. If you guys have any more comments or questions, please let me know. Any future suggestions about, you know, what videos I should make or what you'd like to see me cover. Uh, product reviews, uh, mesh, heads, stringings. Uh, I'll definitely have some more live strings up for you guys. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Thanks.